All right, ladies and gentlemen, if it's not the fuckery going on at the nearest restaurant depot, it's the fuckery going on with this Fujitsu that we just installed 72 hours ago. Have a look. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. This is what I mean when I talk about fuckery. Because this is the fuckery that goes on. Guys, if you remember the color of this siding, yes, we are back at the beautiful install that we did last Friday. A total of three days later. And we noticed something instantly when we turned on the outdoor unit. It was making a specific humming noise that would come and go, start and stop. And we call that fuckery. We call it fuckery because the beautiful install that went on in here really came out nice. Really came out nice. But I'm going to show you what happens when product or material is mass produced in warehouses by people, machines, robots, but I think robots can do better than this. That noise you hear is radiating through this siding, through the inch and a quarter granite that's on this gentleman's backsplash, and he can hear it in his kitchen. Now you're asking Mike, did you check pressures? Yes. Did you install the isolators on the bracket? Yes. After being on the phone with Fujitsu for one hour, you know what they asked me? Oh, you know what they demanded? They want isolators on the bracket that gets mounted to the siding. I said, are you fucking kidding me? That's what I told them. 52 minutes on the line with Fujitsu. And a big thumbs up to Matt because uh, I think he was just doing his job from Fujitsu and he had to ask that stupid question. And uh, But I said to myself, there is no stupid question. There's only a stupid answer. So that noise you hear is the compressor. And when me and Richie installed this from the get last Friday, 72 hours ago, we heard it for a quick, I don't know, 30 seconds, then it stopped customer called me yesterday evening which was Monday Mike I'm hearing this noise that's radiating in this kitchen and he thought that it was a truck idling outside his house here on these Queen streets on this busy road here right across from PS 115 the school I thought it was a school bus idling right here and I shit you not I took the panel off I checked the isolators took the blanket off of the compressor and it's the compressor let me show you but let me just show you the inside first before I go up there and guys can you hear it from here I got both indoor units on I got 450 psi on my high side hose connected to my suction line of my service port and we're running at about 450 degrees in heat mode on high fan speed at 88 degrees You hear that? Let me show you the inside of the house. Let me see if you can hear it inside. Guys doing a ton of work in here. We got one unit there. And here is where you can hear it and you can feel it. This whole inch and a quarter granite is vibrating. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's very minute in here, but if you're having lunch here or dinner you can hear it now let me show you now let me oh, show you the outdoor unit and the compressor so on the phone with Fujitsu 52 minutes got an RMA number gonna go head back to the HVAC supply pick up a new unit that they have in stock um, we're gonna be paying for this thing cash and then wait Two to four days to get reimbursed to see if it's approved but the gentleman matt from fujitsu big thumbs up to you 
most likely it will be approved. We did a FaceTime call. We sent pictures via email. We sent videos via email and text. So everything's on file. Got my ticket number, but do you guys hear that? Compress is working. Indoor units are heating, both in heating and cooling. Accumulator is nice and cold. That is not normal. That is not normal. And they asked me if I had isolators on the bracket. Guys, beautiful vinyl siding, double three quarter inch plywood behind here, three eight lag bolts right through it. My first concern was I thought it was the outdoor fan. Come on, Fujitsu, really? Come on. All the isolators on the compressor are locked down, nice. Got a little play on it. Oh, come on. You guys hear that? That compressor is shot. No good. Perfect install. Going to get reimbursed. Refunded with our RMA number. And we're going to get this done in a couple days. We've got to bring the scaffold back. Uh, take this one down. Disconnect all the electric. Oh, man. This is the shit that really just aggravates me in the field, guys. Um, it really does. It, uh, it really puts a damper on things. It really, um, I don't want to say so much ruins your confidence because when you lose your confidence in this trade, it could really mess up your day and your week. So I don't want to say it, it, it worsens my confidence or lessens my confidence, but it, it just frustrates me because the install came out great it's just the aggravation that is causing the customer that i truly look out for so um you know sad to say uh i'm just gonna let the cat out of the bag now guys we are this is gonna be our last year in new york guys we are moving everything down to florida and um i honestly It's frustrating. It's frustrating. And uh, this isn't the first time it's happened. And, uh, you know, it won't be the last. But, um, you know, when you get asked a stupid question like, are there isolators on the bracket mounted to the siding? That makes me want to just rip the fucking hair out of my head for asking that question. Bad compressor. We're going to button this up. We're going to put the blanket back. And uh, one day... Uh, this week, I'm thinking maybe Thursday, we'll get the scaffold back and we'll replace this whole unit. So, uh, that's what it is. Guys, on that note, stay true to yourself. Stay confident. Don't lose that enthusiasm and confidence out here. Don't do it because it'll really throw a wrench in your day. So, stay positive. Remember, you are the light. Spread the love. Make somebody smile, do a good deed every day if you can. Say hello and hug your kids, your wife, your girlfriend, your sister. And spread some love this way, guys. Appreciate you guys watching the content. On that note, this is the real shit that goes on out in the field. You hear it bogging down now because we have it in auto and the indoor fan is ramping down. But guys, on that note, Should it have been a green? I don't know. What do you think? Should it have been a green? I don't know. But on that note, stay blessed, stay safe, and like always, let's do yours next week. Oh, man. All right, John. This, this is the fuckery that goes on, man. It's, it's is, unbelievable. It's man. unbelievable, man. Like I told you, that pump I bought the other day. What were you telling me? You got that pump. Oh, it's a trash pump. It's a trash pump. Let's see. Yeah, I bought a fucking pump the other day. Brand new out of the box. Shot. Shot. Now I got to go through them with the warranty claim and all this shit. Just it's aggravating. It takes time, you know? Fucking nuts, man. What do you got? Let's see. Oh, you got it for the pool cover? No, no. Who makes it? Tsunami? No. Tsunami makes a good one, man.
Really? Oh, fuck. That's one of the shit that, like, uh, Con Ed uses. Where'd you get that thing? This is Porn Star. Yeah. P O N S T A R. Yes. Uh, that thing's a monster. Fucking, like, so full horsepower, this, maybe. I use this for, like, if I gotta get in a pool. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Or whatever to drain it out. I use Corn that. Wow. It sucks out the water in fucking two minutes. But really? Yeah. That's and good. I'm gonna get. I already called the supply. I'm gonna see if they get the email, give them the ticket number, they'll approve it, get the RMA number, we'll I'll pick it up, whatever, put it on the account, and then yeah, yeah, they, well, like I said, whatever me, way whatever it's gotta it be, yeah. yeah, whatever way it's gotta be. All pay. right, you wanna go this way? You wanna lock this door? Yeah, I lock the yeah. door. I put everything back. Um, All right, yeah. Right, one more. Yeah, that's the fucking noise I I heard it out of the box when we first put it in. Then it stopped. I still hear it. Yeah. Shot man, shot. Then other side, Mike. Yeah, what do you got? So, oh, for do the other side? Yeah. What do you got? You got three bedrooms up there? So what I want to do is we got it. it would be one here. One there. Right? Yeah. One here. Nice. And then the other one, the hose line will go the same way. The hose for the condensate the, drain? Yeah. Okay. Everything will go in this way. Uh, and then I got an interior wall. So we're in a bathroom. This is the bathroom wall. Right okay. Here. Right. So the other side of the wall would be an interior wall. That's where I want to put another unit on that side. Gotcha. Okay. So I could, I could, whatever the lines come over, I could put a soffit up, whatever. So another four units here? So yeah. Four, so right. I would need a one, two, three. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, one, two, three. Yeah. And then one down here would be four. Right. Okay. Yeah, so four total. Okay. And where's the water main coming? It comes the in on, that, on the, the other, other side. wall. Yeah. comes in on the other wall. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. So we've got this whole canvas to work on then. Yeah, this side I'm not really worried about or anything going up. Where are we going to put the condensate, you said? The, the runoff? <laughs> the runoff. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, we got, what do you call it? Every, I don't really think. Because there's no lines coming down in here. Is that a gutter over there on that corner? It's a gutter, no, right? No. Is that a gutter? No, it's just a dummy piece. Yeah, oh, okay. That's just the way the house is. Okay. Is this considered a... It's not considered a gable roof, is it? Yeah. It's a gable? Yeah. Gable, right? Because down in Florida, I'm trying to build a single story there, and they're telling me it's either got to be a gable or a hip roof. But they're telling me, like, uh, somebody I've been talking to, the hip roof, like the ridges? Yeah, they gotta be not, vented. Yeah, they gotta be vented yeah. with this fucking like thing going across yeah, the whole roof? Yeah, it's a vent cap. Yeah, I don't know, I've never seen it. So it's just a, you cut it, what do you call You cut, I think it's two and a half inches on both sides. Yeah. And then this cap goes, sits on top in that area, right? And it comes up and it's got a vent that comes up. So. And that's required in New York too? Yeah. Well, everywhere, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So the vent is. It, the vent, it just vents the roof. Vents the roof. Or your crawl space up on top. You could put a fan in there to get circulation to, to because now you can get yeah, so out. You can yeah. pull everything out. Uh, it's, it, they work. They work. Yeah. 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 So a uh, hip roof. I next mean, time, next talking. time I do this, I'm gonna see what I can do to get one up here. Really? Yeah. Either that, or I'm gonna put some vents in. So the hip roof. Uh, yep. Pure fuckery, guys. Pure fuckery. You know, like I mentioned, this is the frustrating part. Uh, on what goes on in the field and on the job site so you know you can't predict this shit you know you want to do right by the customer you know you want to look like a you want to look better than than sliced bread uh, but sometimes that doesn't happen you run into these instances where parts just malfunction right out of the box and um, it is what it is, but we got an RMA number from Fujitsu directly. Uh, we're going to go pick up that condenser probably tomorrow, uh, get it in probably Thursday. And uh, that's uh, that's what it is out here. So I'll bash Fujitsu like I did or like I bashed Gree. I don't know if I'll do that. You know, their tech support is pretty good, Fujitsu. So is Gree, but, um, you know... I mean, with Gree's instance, that was a, a bad condenser fan motor and a control board right out of the box on their new three-ton condenser that I did for that guy in Brooklyn at that cafe. I mean, you guys remember that where I pissed all over the condenser and I was trashing Gree? I mean, brand new right out of the box. I mean, 
Guys, they're all computers. They're, but I mean, for the compressor to be, oh man, to be sounding like that. And I had good pressures at 450 on my high side hose hooked up to my low pressure side service port valve. I mean, it's, I don't know. I was thinking maybe there was too much refrigerant in that, in the system, but I mean, it was 60 feet. 55 feet of line set. I mean, comes pre-charged, six pounds. This is what it is. I mean, uh, I don't know. It is what it is, but the cat's out of the bag, guys. This is gonna be our last year in New York. Uh, we made our decision. We are going to be enjoying, um, enjoying life down in Florida. Uh, coming up at the end of the year, this is gonna be our last Christmas we spend in New York and, uh, you know, we want to live by the beach, guys. We want to live by the beach. We want to live by the pool. And, uh, you know, we just want some good southern hospitality. You don't get it up here in New York, in the northeast coast. You don't. Uh, the hustle and bustle of the city, it's reckless, guys. I grew up here 36 years. And uh, it's, it's, it's not what I enjoy anymore. It's not. The lifestyle... Uh, is not what I enjoy every time I go down to Florida. I regret coming back because I'm just so disgusted with what goes on down here But man living by the beach and you know having dinner on the beach You know on the on those cool nights setting a fire lighting a fire on the beach I mean come on who, who wouldn't want that you know you can't do that here There's no parking here you know all you get here is just attitudes and you know, the fuckery of the people that go on out here and how they act. It's just reckless, man. It's pure reckless. There's no regard for human nature or the humanity out here. It, it, it really is the concrete jungle, and I'm just, I'm not for it no more. So, uh, sad to say, you know, we'll still be recording, but this is going to be our last year here in New York, and we're going to make it a good one. We're going to end the end the year strong, and... Uh, we're going to enjoy it, guys, and I uh, hope you guys are going to enjoy this content as just as much as I like making it and posting it for you guys. I wish I could post it just as fast as others do, but uh, I don't know how they do it out there, but I don't, have a, I don't have a film team or anything like that, so. But guys, on that note, stay blessed, stay safe, stay away from the fuckery out here, and... Uh, Let's do yours next, baby.